Hey everybody, I'm going to draw a panda. Pandas are actually really hard to draw, but they're also really easy to draw. So let's talk about why. My paper's oriented landscape because my panda is going to be kind of crawling across the page here. And you can see I've got every tool in the box. I'm going to get rid of these though, and I'm going to start with my pencil. All right, so what makes pandas hard to draw? Well, if you overthink it, you'll never get it right. But if you keep it simple, it'll always work out. So, really important thing about a panda is its big belly. Pandas have a big circle belly. They also have a circle head. Congratulations, you've drawn the two most important parts of a panda. From here, it's pretty simple. Just connect these two, kind of pear shaped things. All right, now give your panda some legs. Back legs. Give your panda some front legs. Give your panda a little snout here and a nose, some panda ears, and the spots for the eyes. Now you might be looking at this and saying, that just looks like a bear. All right, let's move to our thick Sharpie. So I'm just gonna color in certain parts of this panda and leave other parts totally white. So the front legs are all black. There you go. The back legs are like half black. The ears are all black. The spots on the eyes, all black. The nose, all black. And then the mouth, black. Now, one last thing that makes it look like a panda. Shoulders. Pandas have black shoulders. I'm not sure why, but they do. There we go. That's my panda. If you sit there and you try and draw it perfect and like obsess about, well, what does the panda's paws look like? And what does the panda's this, that, and the other looks like? You'll never get it right. If you keep it simple and just concentrate on well, what's black and what's white, your panda will miraculously materialize. Now from here, I can actually erase all this pencil stuff. And even with all the pencil line drawings, you're still gonna see it as a panda. The cool thing about pandas is like, it's almost what you don't see. That's as important as what you do see. They're just a high contrast animal. All right, now of course I'm not gonna leave them like this. That wouldn't be, wouldn't be fair to my panda. Oops, I grabbed the wrong pen, sorry. There we go. Just gonna kind of put this stuff in here. They're actually really hairy. They're covered in shaggy panda fur. So I'm gonna give him a little bit of, a little bit of panda um, texture. Right? And a little panda butt, and panda tail. And they do have these, uh, these cute little claws. And you might actually want to go back with a pen or a pencil and kind of scrub in some of that texture because even though they're white, they tend to be kind of like dirty, you know, not, not like a perfect white. They have all kinds of interesting colors going on back here. Plus it gives them that sense that they're rounded if you do that. Um, one other thing I might do, might do, I don't know. Let's go back with one of these silver Sharpies and just kind of put in a little eye or something like that. Just so it kind of looks like my panda has eyeballs. And there you go. Now, if I was going to draw in a shadow, I think I would actually use my ballpoint pen here because I don't want my panda's feet and my panda's legs and my panda's claws to get lost in the shadow. So by just scribbling it in this way, that kind of creates the illusion of the shadow without losing the, the bottom half of my panda. So there you go, not a bad panda. Thank you very much for drawing a panda with me. And uh, you know, actually while I have it here, it's really easy to draw pandas kind of in any, sh any position you want, as long as you start with that big circle, move to the little circle, and just kind of keep an eye on uh, what's black and what's not. So 
Bring in another quick little panda shape. Nose, eye, eye, ear, ear. Front leg is black. Shoulders are black. Bottom leg, kind of black. There you go. Really easy to just make a, to make a panda if you just focus on the colors. Otherwise, you, you get lost. Anywho, thanks very much. I'll see you around.